Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and today I'm coming at you with a very special video, a holiday gift guide, finding that thing for a gamer from a gamer's perspective. Now, before we start this conversation, I do want to tell you up front that I personally don't really like giving board games as gifts to other gamers. I think that generally if somebody enjoys board games, they're going to know the things they like, and they're generally going to want to look for games of that type. And so buying a game for them is kind of risky because a lot of times when you receive a game from somebody they don't have that knowledge of all the things that you enjoy so it might become a chore to learn this game and have it pan out for a game that you don't really enjoy a lot of issues when it comes to gamers receiving gifts is they have shelves of games that they already have not played yet and that can be an issue for them so with that being said though I don't have that issue I don't have a shelf of games I haven't played, but I really want to respect other people's time and their decisions and things they enjoy. So this is coming from the perspective of somebody who kind of fits into that category who doesn't really like getting games as gifts. I would much prefer something else as you'll see on this list here. Now that being said, I do have two games that I do recommend as gifts because they're ones that I've actually given as gifts and had good success with. So the first game I want to talk about is Micro Macro Crime City. So this is Spiel des Jahres winner, a fan fantastic crime solving game of Where's Waldo. You're going to be giving these prompts in the form of questions and based on those questions you're going to be looking for clues on the map to provide answers. Once you complete a question you flip it over, check to see if you got it, and then move on. So while you're going through these prompts it's going to guide you through a story of something that has happened and allow you to uncover all the mysteries. I think this is an extremely approachable game and one big thing when it comes to gifts and giving gifts, that entry, that barrier to learning the game has to be extremely, extremely low when it comes to the rules unless that person specifically is interested in playing that game. If it's a game that they can look at that one little sheet of paper, learn how to play and go, it's going to be something that they're willing to pick up and play and this does it perfectly. You literally can learn how to play this game by looking at the front cover and the back cover of the box and I think that is amazing. This is so approachable for any group and it also is scenario based so people can grab it and go and jump into as many of these missions as they're feeling that day. Once it's finished, they can pass on the game themselves so it becomes a gift that keeps on giving and I think that it's just a fantastic product. So I love this game. I think it's so fun and if somebody already has this game, have no fear the sequel is here. Micro Macro Crime City Full House is also available and this is a really cool thing about this product is that it's a little bit different in the way it executes its cases. In the first one some of the cases could be pretty ridiculous and pretty risque because it is Crime City after all. This one now has included recommendations for age appropriate which I think is great for families. So you can give it to the head of the household and that person can figure out what's appropriate to play with whom in that household. And I think that's really, really cool. So this has a way that you can still enjoy the micro macro crime city experience in a way that's going to be appropriate for everybody. So I just think that this game is a hit. I would honestly recommend you go with the full house edition because most likely the person's not going to have that copy already. And if they don't have it, then it's going to be something they can play with their whole family. So I really, really like this experience. So that's my first recommendation, Micro Macro Crime City Full House. Now that being said, the next game I want to talk about are exit games. So these are escape room games that offer some sort of theme where you're going to be solving these puzzles to try to complete a series of tasks in about one hour. So right off the bat, low investment because the whole game is kind of discovering how to play as you play it with the different puzzles. And if you do get stuck, there are help and hint cards that can guide you along and push you in the right direction. I love the creativity that come from these games. I love the way that you're going to be going from place to place and you'll be piecing things together. And the game is very very creative with how it gives these different solutions and clues and I love just the components and how they create a theme. There's a huge catalog of these exit games so you can really pick and choose the ones that you see fit. There are so many options when it comes to the different exit games with the different themes that you can go through so we have a time one here with the gate between worlds, cursed labyrinth, you can even go to a sheriff's town. There are even ones that incorporate puzzles so there's a lot of different choices here on what style of adventure you want to go and that's really neat because you can pick something that's thematic appropriate to the person you're giving it to and it's going to be an experience that they can take away. I love giving these styles of games that are experiences altogether because they really do 
give that person something they can take away from that gift. And I think that's awesome. A memory is generally going to last a lot longer than a physical piece or physical component. And I think that this really does that well. And the price point on this is also extremely small with the packages being only about eight or ten dollars a piece. So very small price point, very tiny package, and also very small barrier to entry, but a really meaningful and fantastic experience. So those are the two games that I'm going to recommend are the exit games as well as Macro Micro Crime City. Now that being said, I also have some other recommendations in the form of game upgrades. Now the biggest game upgrade I can recommend are upgraded coins or currency. Now we here in our side game library, we use the iron clays. I really like the way they feel. They can represent any type of currency in any game, but a lot of the times you may not want these because you kind of want the coins to look like they're part of the game. And I think that's where the charm from like custom metal coins come from. Sometimes games don't have that option though. And sometimes they will. On Amazon, you can find all sorts of different games that have specific currencies like Stonemeyer here has their Viticulture, Metal Lira. I love the way these feel they're nice and chunky there are ones for agra there are ones for the scythe games you know every game has that has currency available is pretty dang well done it's very thematic and it feels very great now that being said if you're looking for a generic form of currency my favorite actually from the eagle griffin game shop i love these generic metal coins there are 110 of them you can use them for any game that kind of just uses pounds or coins so i think twa or lisboa as they say here brass uh, i also use these for sheriff of nottingham these are great hefty coins that feel good when you pass them between players so if you're looking for just a generic set of coins these are fantastic so i actually received these as a gift during a secret santa a while ago and i was thrilled amazing this is kind of exactly the thing i'm looking for because you can use it in pretty much anything and it just upgrades that quality and just like the poker chips you can put them to the side and put them into any set any game it is so awesome love these things and you can find those on the eagle griffin games website super super nice now the last things that i want to talk about game upgrades specifically are promos i love promos for games if you go to the bgg store there are so many promos for specific games and some of them are pretty significant like they just released the dual color cards from Mage Knight and normally those are only available in the deluxe edition but now you can get them here so if you have somebody that really enjoys that game we talked about the macro micro crime city they have another case there which is really neat you could kind of pair those two and have a really special gift kind of a expanded version of a game that no one else will have and if you go to the websites of the publisher you can also usually find promos there for example Thunderworks games here they have all sorts of promos for their different games listed at the bottom here they have the special mini expansions, new player characters, special promo cards from Kickstarters. Generally, if you go to their websites, you're going to be able to find those special promos, and I think it's definitely worth looking out. So for example, the Valeria games, all of their Kickstarter editions are all here as well, so you can really get those extra special things if they really enjoy solo gaming, or if you want those metal coin packs, they're all on here, and it looks like there's some sales going on, so now might be a good time to jump onto these. So very cool. I recommend that if you know somebody really likes a game, go look for those specific promos for that game. And the last thing that I wanted to add here is just one quick kids game recommendation and one that I've had a huge hit recommending to anybody. This is going to be Ice Cool, enjoyed by adults and kids alike. This is a flicking game of penguins. You're flicking the penguins around the board. They're actually using the box itself as the board and they're going through doors in order to pick up your colored fish. And this game is just super clever in the way it works. It's very easy to set up. It's a kind of a puzzle. You open the box and stack them next to each other. And then each player is going to be flicking stuff around. Very simple to play, very simple to learn. And it's also one that you can just enjoy and just play with without actually playing the game. And as I mentioned before, there are so many promos available specifically for this game, which is kind of neat because you can expand it as you see fit. If the person is really into just the flicking, the base game is probably all you're going to need. But there are also many ways that you can update and customize your version of this game. So very cool, very fun. And I think this is a great kids game. And it's a great game that adults can enjoy as well. So those are my recommendations. Those are the board games that I recommend as gifts, as well as upgrades and promos. These are things that I have had success with giving as gifts, as well as receiving and feeling pretty dang thrilled with them myself. So this is perspective of a gamer for gamers on what might be super awesome this holiday season. So now's a good time to start looking for these deals and ordering them because as you know, there's some shipping issues. So that might be a good time to start jumping on it now. But I hope that some of you found this useful for recommendations. But that's all for the video here. What are you giving this holiday season as gifts? Anything that I missed on this one? I'd love to hear what you think. 
But thank you so much for watching Side Game Strong.